guys, welcome to my new wardrobes. You're getting the first kind of sneak peek of them today. And these were built for me by my mum whilst I was away on my five month trip around Latin America because I had no storage before and um, as you are about to see, I have a lot of clothes. The kind of basic layout is we kind of have shoes here and handbags here. And then along both walls we have built-in wardrobes with kind of various long hanging and double hanging. So I've got lots and lots of room for all of my stuff now and I'm so relieved so I can finally find all of my clothes. Um, although I'm a bit overwhelmed because now I have too much choice, I think, in terms of outfits and I'm much slower getting ready these days. The item that attracts the most attention for me is definitely these shoes. And these are from a brand called Substitute and as you can see, they are massive. Um, I once wore these to a school do and all of my teachers gave me the weirdest looks and I had to try really hard all evening not to roll on my ankle because um, you would break it instantly, I think. My most expensive item is over here and it's kept in a very special box and it is my Chanel 2.55 in a medium size and um, as you can see I keep it in its original felt and everything because it's cream and I'm really really careful about looking after it. Here it is in all its glory and um, yeah I kind of rarely wear it now because I am so scared <laughs> of getting it dirty um, but it is definitely the most expensive and the most beautiful item in my wardrobe I think. The item which is my best freebie has to be this kimono from PLNDR or Plunder and it's just really really pretty. Um, I kind of want to wear it with everything especially at this time of year but I have to stop myself. I'd wear this I think with kind of a cutout dress, um, just really kind of simple for summer and then maybe with some leather trousers and a cute t-shirt in the winter. My best value item that I wear a lot um, is this uh, peplum top from Primark and it's got this really nice mesh um, triangle detailing on the back which does make it a little bit hard to find a good bra to wear with. It's almost like a sport type material like Airtex kind of thing so that's what I really like about it. I think it cost around the kind of £11 mark and I probably at least worn it already five or six times and I bought it sometime late last year I think. The item that I've had the longest, although I kind of still fit into a lot of my clothes from when I was young so I do have quite a lot of them but I decided to show you guys this one which I'm not sure you will have seen before. Um, it's a Chloe top, a little purple t-shirt with a bow on the front and you can see it's getting a little bit raggedy there but I still love it and yeah it's kind of it represents the preppy style that I used to have really. The item that I've bought but never worn is actually quite a recent purchase. I bought it whilst I was traveling in Guatemala and it's this top here and I really really think it's super super pretty but unfortunately it's kind of a hole in a big piece of material so I find it a little bit difficult to wear because I feel like I'm flashing my whole side when I wear it. Um, but I will find a way to wear it, I think, at some point soon. My most recent purchases are these gorgeous um, floral crowns and two of them are from Dolly Bobo. Uh, it's the blue one here and the purple one and two are from Crown and Glory and that's the mint one and the dark blue one. I plan to wear them all summer basically because it is a very in trend at the moment and also it's such beautiful weather outside that it's fun to wear flowers on your head I think. Um, 
So yeah, I kind of would wear them with floaty um, items, like kind of a floaty cardigan, a bit like the one I'm wearing today. Um, I just think it kind of keeps it girly and pretty for summer. The item that I know I should definitely throw away, but I just can't, is this item and it is a leather jumper. <laughs> um, I picked this up in a vintage shop and I'm convinced I'm going to wear it one day, um, but it's kind of ill-fitting and obviously extremely warm and a little bit uncomfortable as well. I don't do a lot of vintage shopping because I find it's really, really expensive in London. But one of my best vintage finds is this one, which I picked up in Paris. And it's this striped cardigan. I wear it quite a lot in the winter. It's very warm. It's almost like a coatigan. It's a little bit warmer than you might think. And it's got this really nice kind of military style detailing down the front. I probably just wear this with like a simple pair of riding pants and like a band tee kind of thing which picks up some of the red colours to keep it all kind of coordinated. My biggest wardrobe confession is that we bought 250 um, hangers for my new wardrobes and I've used them all plus I'm still using some of the old ones I had so that just shows you how many clothes I have and it's kind of ridiculous at the moment. Thanks for coming and having a little look at my new wardrobes. Let me know what you liked and didn't like in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Fashtag. Let's just have a look inside. Um, I didn't know about this cupboard for a little while but I tend to keep kind of lipsticks in there, some perfumes, little like jewellery boxes as well. 